it happened. It was a tumultuous time. A lot of drama goes on when you're, you're making bad decisions in life. Things go downhill. They go down quickly. So that's all part of it. It's kind of wrapped into all the horrible things that happened in a very, very right. tragic time. Because she passed away not too much long after yeah. that. Uh, and actually, that's where they dropped the charges. Um, I don't know about forensics, but apparently when they checked her out, the uh, Cobb County, they, I was on their radar where I, where this all happened outside of Atlanta. And I guess my, from my, what my lawyer told me was that when they did the uh, autopsy, the guy, I don't know, who does the forensics said that that was an abrasional type injury. That wasn't an impact, like kind of injury. Right. And which confirmed what we had both told him, the officer that had happened yeah. at the scene, but he arrested me anyways. But it's, once you're arrested, you're arrested. So, um, and they dropped the charges okay. based on, it was what my lawyer told me. Because I, I don't think Cobb County would drop any charges against me at the time. They had me on 17, I think, felony counts on drugs because the amount of drugs I had in my place at the time. Was so, that for selling or was that you just, you consumed a lot? It was my stash. I just re-upped my stash, I called it. I didn't want to buy like drugs on a weekly basis, so I'd buy like a six month supply or a year supply at once because I had the money to do it, the wherewithal. So I bought, I just bought a bunch of stuff. And what was it exactly that uh, Miss Elizabeth had taken that night? No, I, I, I never got the to a toxic, saw a toxicology report. I, I wouldn't be, it was alcohol and a couple of different pills. I mean, she seemed fine that yeah. night. It was. We were watching movies together, and she was standing in the microwave next to me one minute. I took her food over to her and was heating mine up. In the microwave, the next minute, she wasn't, she wasn't responding or breathing. Wow. I was total shock. And Still you were shocked. probably on pills at that time, too, so you were probably... Yeah, I mean, uh, I wasn't like... I mean, I was making food, and yeah. I, mean, I wasn't like... I had messed up a lot back then. I wasn't really messed up. Yeah. It didn't seem like she was all that messed up at the time. So it was, it was, it was a shock. I was like, when she didn't respond, I just immediately dialed 911, and they were there within, like it seemed like a minute and a half, because they were right down the street, like I told you. Yeah. And they were there, and when they worked on her and took, ran her out the ambulance, I, 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 I said, this isn't good. But at the same time, I thought, well, they got her now. She's, she's gonna make it. So what went through my mind? Didn't find out till later, what happened, that she didn't make it. But uh, they rushed her out the. Uh, paramedics were working on her and, and, and rushing out the ambulance. I thought, we always think we're going to make it, right? We might speak to youngsters now. So if I tell them, you just never know. Yeah. One night, too much of a certain thing or your body responds different. You, it, you know, drugs are, are you know, are rushing with that. Yeah. And that. Very, very sad. That very, very didn't tragic. actually clean you up then either, did it? You still oh, no. had to go through a few years of... No, I was... Yeah, I, it got worse for there for me. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.